Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my video. So today in this video, we're going to be cleaning my kitchen. It's not necessarily a deep clean, but we will be cleaning some untouched spots. So I hope you enjoy. So here we're starting with the stove. So I'm just cleaning off some food from last night and then I'm gonna go ahead and get into cleaning the stove, which includes the top, the vent that's above the stove and the oven door. So once I finish with the stove, I'm moving over to the part of the counter where I keep my mailbox. So this is where I put all of my mail like that I really don't even know why I keep. I just end up stacking up mail for no reason. So I'm going through it and seeing what I need to get rid of and what I plan on keeping. And it's really gonna help this area look so much more organized. So now we're moving over to the area of the counter where I put my dishes to dry when I don't use the dishwasher. And this area, it seems to get like a bunch of dry water marks on there. And it's not really that much, but I just needed to wipe it down. So now I'm putting everything back. And that towel that I have that's right next to the drying rack, it's for the drain covers. They end up wet and dripping so and I hate when the back of my faucet gets wet so I leave the towel there to keep it dry. So now I'm washing the dishes and I'm really not even washing them I'm putting them in the dishwasher and I'm not going to turn it on yet because I haven't had breakfast yet at this point so once I finish with my breakfast dishes those will go into the dishwasher and then I'll turn it on. So now we're moving on to our last part of the counter that's on this side of the kitchen. And there's not really much to do here. I'm just giving it a quick wipe down and moving all of the things that I would normally keep in place just to clean off the little crumbs and pieces that are left behind there. Okay, so now moving on to the microwave. The microwave is a complete mess. Food splattered from being warmed up, of course, and now it's all hard and caked on there. So I'm gonna have to give it a good scrub and it took a while, but it got much better. So 
this is the other side of the kitchen and it's kind of like a bar area that looks into the living room. I don't really use it as a bar. I just use it as an additional countertop. So I'm just clearing the things off so I can give it a quick wipe down. And I keep a lot of paperwork here. I keep my son's diaper bag and I keep my purse here because this is always where we stop before we go out of the door. Now we're moving on to the last countertop and I couldn't believe what I found. So I left my son's juice out and it got moldy. So I didn't read the bottle and I was unaware that you were supposed to refrigerate it after you opened it. I thought that was kind of optional and it ended up getting moldy. So I'm glad I caught it before I gave him some. So now we're moving on to sweeping and mopping. And I know you saw the big pile of towels that I threw into the basket. So I don't really use paper towels when I clean. I feel like it's wasteful. I would rather use like 100 washcloths that you can wash and reuse every time rather than use paper cloths that you have to throw away. So now I'm making my mop water and I just use regular disinfecting bleach and Fabuloso especially since you guys know what's going on right now. So I'm just going to mop the floor. Lastly, I'm going to take out the garbage and the recycling and then I'll be done. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. This is my first recorded cleaning and I plan on making many more. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.